Okay, we're, we're the Zatapex from England. Um, I'm Sam. Oh, I'm introducing them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a spider, our quite incompetent league guitar player. <laughs> Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Will, he's our singer. And uh, Sebastian here is our Competent rather guitar. shit looking guitar player. <laughs> shit. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there is. Like, it depends where you go, but some places are great. If, like, I live in Bristol, and that's a good place for shows, and Sydney and London, there's lots of good shows there. So yeah, it depends where you go. Yeah. But, Manchester's got a good punk scene too, because I lived there again for the last two years. I don't live there now anymore, but yeah, Manchester's got a lot going on. But what what kind of styles? Because I come, we live in Berlin. I come back to England with this. We've been away for eight years, and it's very strange. Like suddenly, people play in a different styles. Uh, people look different, everyone's got beards, uh, everyone's playing kind of like folky. I mean, it seems to me anyway that, that struck me that, that these certain styles I didn't even know of eight years ago are now suddenly very big. So it's also what, what do we mean by punk scene? Do we mean like casualties, hair as big as the room? <laughs> <laughs> same, same with anything, you get, get a mix of, of uh, whatever styles. Like in Manchester, there's you know, it's like your crusty bands and folkish bands as well, I guess. But it's, yeah, it's, Good mix, people just play some hardcore bands, some fast, good, decent rock and punk bands, or some shit ones. Uh, that transpired, me and Seb had a telephone conversation in 2001. I was living in Berlin and we wanted, to, he, he said we were making t shirts. Seb's the organised one, and we were making t shirts and we wanted something other than the band name. And originally we were quite inspired by, you know, we, we did this like parody early rock and roll thing, pretending to be a gang. Um, and you can't really get away with that with that's free, but... <laughs> 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 the rants are doing um, And so we said, yeah, we just devised this, we thought, because we, we did this like rock and roll thing, we thought, okay, this sounds, you know, continu continuity from the rock and roll era. It wasn't very fashionable. We deliberately, being kind of weird and outcasts, and, uh, so we just thought it'd be funny, basically. But it's a bit annoying now that that still crops up, and it's you know it's like someone showing baby photos of yourself, you know. Uh, uh, you try and have a bit more substance, but. Uh... Uh, not really. Uh, is that well? Firstly, is that Apex? I consider a political band. Like we have a lot of political or social or philosophical songs, but it's less. It's not like anti fat hooligans. It's a song I love, but we haven't yet done something like that. But <laughs> Mikey D. Crack is showing his ass. Uh, Zapex. Yeah. Of course we weren't fucking political. Yeah, well, well, we don't. We don't we we our own language. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but well, it's, maybe that is political. But <laughs> floppy was the same as so. The, Zatapex started out this like rock and roll joke and then became a punk rock joke. <laughs> but at the time we were playing the political songs in Three and a Half Inch Poppy and then the joke yeah. songs in the Zatapex. And then it kind of changed around a bit. Well, floppy stops. So, <laughs> stop, yeah. Um, yeah, so let, both. Uh, it's like you, you want to have songs about everything, not you don't just want to be a political band. You want to sing about love and politics and philosophy and religion and anything. So we take a political stance and. We have, that, that's reflected in some of the songs, but I don't think everyone needs to hear my views on politics for 12 tracks on an album. But both, both bands reflected a kind of left-wing politics, um, but it's not dominant theme in the band, it's just kind of present throughout. So there's continuity with Floppy and Zappex. There, there, there is a new one on sale today, actually. Uh, it's out there. Yeah, it just, it took, we recorded it last year and it took a while to kind of produce, but um, the album's just come out, the third album. So, uh, what's it called? <laughs> it, it's called About Bloody Time, which is quite appropriate. Um, the idea was a pun on the fact that we're really, really slow to do anything, but also time is a dominant theme on the record. Uh, so, it's not exactly subtle. But I, I like to pretend it's really deep. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a new record and then we'll probably do another one in about 20 years or something. Uh, <laughs> should, should, should come out in 25. <laughs> <laughs> Iron out the creases.